Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this camera error code that is 0XA00F429F. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to turn on basic camera in advanced camera option. Now for this, you can open Windows settings, go to Bluetooth and devices, scroll down, go to cameras over here. Now over here, select your camera you have to click on your camera whichever is your camera if it's a usb camera or integrated you can click on your camera and then scroll down here you can see advanced camera options now hit edit over here and then turn on basic camera over here and then hit apply and now you can check still not working the next step is to start windows camera frame server service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find windows camera uh, windows camera frame server make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart and then you can check still not working the next step is to go to registry editor and go to this location now type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor click on yes to allow now expand hk local machine then it's software wow software and then scroll down here you can see wow 6432 not expanded and then microsoft windows media foundation then Microsoft and then scroll down and find Windows Media Foundation and then expand it select platform over here now once you select platform on the right hand side make a right click new D word 32 bit value and then name this as enable frame server mode Now before you make these changes, if you want to create a backup for your registry, uh, let me delete this first. So create a backup first. So select platform and then go to file export and then you can go to desktop. You can name it as backup. And then you can save. Once it is saved, now you can select platform, make a racket new and then D what T. Uh, 32 bit value and then I name this as enable frame server mode and then put the value data to zero over here type in zero in my case it's already zero click on ok and then you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to make sure Camera access is on in privacy settings. So go to Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then scroll down, go to cameras over here. Now make sure camera access is on over here. So if this is off, turn it on. And if you want some application to access camera, then you can turn this on and you can select the application for which you want the camera. And then you can check. Still not working, reset camera app. So type in camera in Windows search box make a right click on camera app and then go to app settings scroll down first of all click on terminate over here and then click on repair and once the repair is done check if that does not work you can click on reset reset and once the reset is done now you can check still not working the next step is to disable or enable camera now for this you can make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand uh, you will find camera or maybe you will find imaging device so in my case it's camera if you find imaging device you can select imaging expand imaging device and then you will see your camera over here you can make a right click and then you can click on disable device click on yes and then make a right click and then click on enable device now you can try to open the camera still not working the next step is to allow camera and browser access in your antivirus program if you're using any third party antivirus, allow the access for your camera app. You can even disable your antivirus program while using the camera. And once you're done using the ca camera, you can enable your antivirus program. 
Next step is for MSI laptop users. For few model numbers, pressing Fn plus F6 on the keyboard has worked. So on the keyboard, uh, you can press the Fn key. And while holding the Fn key, you can press the uh, function key over here. At the top, you will see function key. So I don't see the function key over here. Yeah. So it's Fn plus F6. You press and hold the Fn key and while holding the Fn key, you can press F6 and then you can check. That will help you to enable or disable the camera. If you have Asus computer, for some modern number, pressing F10 has worked. So you can press the F10 on the keyboard. Uh, on the keyboard, uh, you, you will find F10. So you can press the F10 on the keyboard, which will also enable or disable the camera. Next step is to some HP laptop has camera kill switch on the side of the laptop on the left or right side. It may be on the front side. So you, you can slide that camera switch on the side of the computer or maybe on the back side or the front side. If you find any switch which you can slide to turn or turn off the camera, you can try that. Now the next step is to Lenovo users in few computers in few Lenovo modern number. When you press F F8 on the keyboard at the very top, you will see the function key. When you press the F8 key, it will enable or disable your camera. So you can toggle it. Next step is to update camera driver from device manager. Now for this maker, I click on the start menu, go to device manager. Expand cameras or you will see imaging device maker right click and then click on update driver. Search automatically for drivers. Search for updated drivers on Windows update. If there is any kind of update, you can update it from here. If that is not work, make a right click, click on update driver once again, browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. You will see your camera over here. You can uh, select uh, the dri uh, driver and then click on next. And once it is installed, you can check. And then if that does not work, restart your camera and then you can restart your computer and then check. Next step is to update camera driver from your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, HP, whichever brand you have, you can go to your system manufacturer website. This is just an example. And then you can go select your model number, whichever is your model. Uh, you can select your computer, make sure that your computer, you select your computer only. And then once you select your cam computer, whichever brand you have, uh, whichever model number you have, you can select your model number and then you can go to drivers and downloads and go to driver page. And if you find camera driver over here, you can install the camera driver and then you can check. So over here, if you find camera uh, somewhere, so look for camera uh, driver over here. So if you find any camera driver, you can install it from here. Now, the next step is to uninstall camera driver and restart your computer. Now for this maker, I can the start menu, go to device manager. So go to imaging device or cameras and then sorry, cameras and then make a right click, click on uninstall device, click on uninstall. Once the uninstall is done, restart your computer. When you restart your computer during the system restart, it will reinstall the Windows camera driver and then you can open the camera. Next step is to sometimes camera is disabled in system BIOS. So you can go to system BIOS. Uh, you can uh, to go to the system BIOS. Uh, you can go to settings, Windows update, advanced option, and then uh, go to recovery option, and then uh, go to uh, click on restart now in front of advanced option. Restart now. It will take you to system BIOS like advanced option. Click on troubleshoot and then advanced option. And then you will see UEI firmware settings, something like that. Go there. And once you are in the BIOS, you can check if the camera is enabled in the BIOS or not. If not enabled, you can enable it. Update Windows 11. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update. Go to a Windows Update or Update and Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Perform clean boot. Now for this, type in System Configuration in Windows Search Box. Click on System Configuration, go to the Services tab, put a check on the box which says Hide All Microsoft Services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on Disable All, hit Apply, click on OK. You will see a Restart option, Restart your computer and then check. Still not working, update the System BIOS. 
So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. Uh, the same way, if you have Dell computer, go to Dell website, Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo, whichever brand you have, and then select your model number, and then you can go to driver's page, and then you can find the BIOS. So you can you will find the BIOS. You can download the latest BIOS on your computer, and then uh, download it, install it. Before you install, in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10%, and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, Log into the computer and then open the camera. Next step is to perform system restore. So to, uh, to perform system restore, you can type in system restore, click on create a restore point, and then click on system restore over here, and then click on next. You can select the date and time. You might see multiple uh, restore points over here. In my case, I have only one. So you can select the date and time on which date the camera was working fine. Suppose you started receiving this error today, then you can select the date and time for maybe yesterday or day before yesterday. You can select the restore point on which date the camera was working fine. And then you can click on next and then follow the on-screen instruction and let the restore complete. This process will take some time and then you can log in and then check. Now, the next step is to reset your computer. Now, when you reset your computer, uh, before you reset, let me inform you, this will result in data loss you will lose your application and data. So create a backup before you perform reset. To perform reset, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows Update, Advanced Option, go to Recovery Option. Here you can see Reset PC, click on Reset PC. And here you can see Keep My Files. Keep My Files option will remove application, all the application which, is, which you have installed in here. It will keep your files, but it will remove application and settings, but keeps your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal file application and settings. So you can select the option which you want and just follow the on screen instruction. You can go for cloud download or local reinstall and reset your computer. And then you have to set up your computer once again. You have to start everything from scratch and then you can check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the cam camera working on your computer and you should not receive this error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.